Welcome to the Homes on Wheels Alliance YouTube channel. The host of this 2022 Online Rubber Tramp Rendezvous, otherwise known as the Online RTR. I'm Sue Ann Carlson, the Executive Director of Homes on Wheels Alliance, known by the acronym of HOWA, H-O-W-A. In this video, a nomad expert will be teaching an RTR class especially made for the online format. But first, Let's check out some sweepstakes drawings that will happen on February 2nd. That is, on the date of 2-2-22 at 2 p.m. Pacific Time on the Cheap RV Living YouTube channel. We have three sweepstakes. One is for Bob's van. Another is for a Bluetti AC 200 Max portable power station with external battery and a 200 watt solar panel. And the third sweepstakes is for an Echo Power Lion cooler with an internal battery and 70 watts of solar. Information to get tickets and all of the official rules are found at hawa.rallyup.com. That's H O W A dot R A L L Y U P dot com. This is a sweepstakes, so no donation is necessary. The last day to get tickets is January 26th. 2022. So get them now. As you watch this class, please consider donating to support the Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. Use the blue donate button on this page to support this work of Homes on Wheels Alliance. Now, let's watch this class and learn something to help us be successful in the nomadic lifestyle. Hello, everyone. Hello. Welcome to our our next session um, cooking gadgets glad you're here so for this class it's uh, we need your participation we need uh, you to line up backstage with your kitchen gadgets and come on up and give us a give us tell us about within a few moments about this object how it works for you hi my name is Lisa hi Lisa and uh, I Everybody likes to eat different kinds of food, but I like to eat hot food. I like, so in order to warm up my food, I found this silicone sling. So you put uh, one inch of water in your pot. You put it on the stove. You get it to boiling. You put your food in the dish or in the, in the bowl. Oh, you can use paper plates? Yes. Fantastic, yes. okay. Yeah. Oh, and it uses very little water and there's no dishwashing. You can use stainless bowls or you can use ceramic if you want to. And so then you're... it's boiling. And then when it's boiling, you put the silicone sling over the boiling water. Put the lid on. And then three to four minutes later, you have hot food. I, I have uh, these available from the class I taught last year. Oh, so I still have some left over. I'm Diane, and I actually have a couple of things. Uh, this is a um, can opener. I'm uh, not a can opener. A jar opener. Uh, any type of any type of soda. Any type of anything that has a has a uh, twist top on it. Okay. Uh, I have tried. I have tried and given away probably four or five until I found this. Another good thing that I like about it is it comes with a little plastic or a little silicone ring so you can put it down you put the jar on top of it and it kind of holds it sure so like if this were the jar right it, it holds it so it doesn't twist when you're trying to twist this but it's just really easy and simple and where did you find it and what's it called uh, I'm not sure where I found it but it's a um, X uh, OXO they have a lot of kitchen products and things like that in pretty much everywhere. But uh, this was... That was the answer to a lot of your prayers. It's really so. hard for me to open up jars with a wrist. Anyway, this is, this is called a Hot Logic Mini. I use this when I'm uh, traveling. And so uh, what it basically is, there is a... There's a 12 volt plug you can stick it into your cigarette lighter or any battery jackery or any type of power station 
it's got a hot plate in it like this and this is just lunch bag material and so I can put chicken breast I can put any type of anything in here chicken breast or anything I put it in here put the top on it zip it up plug it into my plug it in and uh, at dinner time, like six hours later, I open it up and it is just this beautiful, like I cooked it over a stove type of thing. Uh, it's also great for leftovers. Uh, I cook every cup, you know, I cook, I do kind of a big cook and then I eat on it for a few days. And so this is also good for leftovers that, um, you know, I just stick them in there, plug it in. And usually when I'm on the, on the go or driving I'm not so much about wanting to stop and cook so love this that's great and I got it on Amazon hi everybody I'm Tina hi Tina hi. I have a rice cooker I bought it on Amazon it was about 40 bucks but I like this one because it has little latches and it sealed tight the lid doesn't move it also comes with a little uh, metal insert so I put my rice in here and put this on top. I spray it with some Pam and I cooked a boneless uh, chicken thigh in there. And I'll start the chicken thigh at the same time as the rice. But I've also cooked shrimp in here and codfish, but I'll wait uh, till it's like 15, 20 minutes in and then put the fish on. It takes about 35 to 40 minutes to cook the rice and it used 14% of my battery. Comes with a little measuring cup, so mm -hmm. you can cook uh, two cups or four cups, two to three cups in here. I've only cooked two. Two. And that's great. And the eight. name of it one more time? Uh, I don't really know the name of it. You found it on Amazon. It's on Amazon. Um, you could take a picture and it, put, it sets on warm and it's 12 volt. Oh, well, that's great. It's a 12 volt rice cooker. Yeah, so I really like that a lot because it makes one meal for me. This one you have to plug into a 110, but I plug it into my Jackery and it takes five minutes to boil water. So I put three eggs in here and then poured the water and make hard boiled eggs. And it boils in five minutes, so you can leave your eggs depending if you want them soft boiled or hard boiled. Um, I put my water in here to heat up to take my sponge bath and my coffee. I just pour the water in here and pour it into my coffee mug. I love this thing because I get up in the morning, I push the little button. You can actually hear it boiling and you could heat your can of soup in here what or whatever. It pulls 313, whatever it is, <laughs> for five minutes. It has no name on it. It's nameless. <laughs> you can take a picture of it. It literally has no name on it. I got it on Amazon though. I think Bob advertises it on his page. Hi everybody, I'm Vanna May and I travel in a class CRV and I mostly boondock. And so to do that and to have a normal kitchen life, I have some small products and they're all under hundred Watts. I just use my Jackery for all of these. This one is like a little, uh, what do you call it? Easy bake oven, but it's a little oven. It's a dash product. It's 500 Watts and it has a little timer. I think it's a 450 degrees. And so I bake pizza rolls, cookies and all that in this. And it works great. These are both dash products. Dash makes some really great products. I got it on Amazon. This one is my favorite. So this is their Dash rice cooker. It's very simple. It has a cook button and a warm button. So when you turn it on, it's only 180 watts. Um, and then you press it down and it'll cook. And then once it's like, it feels that it, all the um, moisture has evaporated, it'll turn off and go to warm. Um, I've baked a chocolate cake in this. I've made a uh, banana bread in this. I make soup. I reheat a lot of my items with this and it's only 180 watts. So. This is like a must-have item, I think. And then, as you can tell, I'm a millennial. I love my lattes. But I got <laughs> this little um, blender like to throw off things. But it also comes with, if you're baking, oh, one of these little... So they come with like little whisks, yeah. And it's all USB. And it's USB. like, it doesn't really use much. Do you know the name of that one? 
Just a front No, I don't, but if you look up USB whisk on Amazon, it'll pop up. Hi, my name is Susan. Hi, Susan. And I have a little I have a little heater that fits on top of my propane stove. So I just turn the gas on and this thing heats and it radiates out heat. So I live in a little scamp and it heats my scamp up pretty fast. And I kind of put the gas on high and then when it um, when it starts radiating out the heat, then I kind of, I turn my gas down. And I found that um, I usually normally use a gas tank, uh, uh, like once a month I'll have to fill a propane tank. What size tank? Uh, what is it, like a... Your standard barbecue your, size? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. standard size. And, um, and so I know I was testing this to see how often I would have to fill my tank. And this, uh, I have to, instead of four weeks, it, it, it runs out in three weeks. This is called Bullet Shaker Camping Mini Heater Warming Stove Cover Tent Heating Cover. <laughs> you don't want to, that you put your pots on, you don't want to take that off. This, this, this will fit on there. You might have to bend some of these a little bit to, um, to Oh, the wire frame work? Yeah, the okay. wire frame. I, I bent some of them so that I could place it on top and it, uh, in the center. This one doesn't, this one doesn't require energy. It's my toaster. It is made by Chinook. It goes over your, I don't know if you can see, it goes over the flame. There's a grill and it stays in place. It's not like those things that have the, those things that have the folding thing. You can only make one toast, but I only can eat one toast at a time. So it's okay. And, and it looked like it folded flat for you. That's pretty folds, impressive. For a very small van, it's super cool. It's really flat. And it's made by Chinook, C-H-I-N. Chinook, uh, Plateau Folding Toaster. It takes up little space and there's a bag so you don't hear it rattle. The other thing is a great little blender, 200 watts. And I can make serious smoothies with that. Um, I don't... It's called the Try Best. I found it at Amazon. It's a, it makes actually cashew cream. I'm plant-based all food, so I don't eat meat. And I, eat a, I drink a lot of smoothies. So this is perfect. And I never, it takes about, I don't know, three minutes to make a good smoothie. So I don't, I don't um, drain my batteries. I can also make all my um, chia seeds and powder. Uh, I can make flour, uh, oatmeal flour with this. It's got a blade. There's two blades. There's also, uh, they, it, it comes with a lot of attachments, like a lot of these things, like a high one and a medium one, but I didn't take all of them because I have so much space. There's a cup to drink. There's a cover, like if I make mayo, uh, vegan mayo, I can cover it and it says it says 300 watts that uh, no 200 watts sorry it's even better if you're cooking a lot cook your things smaller like if you cut your vegetables small they take less time to cook i use my peeler for the carrots they cook much faster because we need to we need to get efficiency so the smaller your vegetables are the faster they cook so that's great that's a great tip Everything that's for camping doesn't have handles, so they store really easily. You either have the folding ones or uh, those camping Remo handles. A removable handle? Removable handles. I've removed all the handles on my, my... I don't have any more handles, so they store inside each other. Right. It it's really practical. Space. All right, so one of the first things that I want to show you is I couldn't actually bring the entire thing, but this is the exhaust hose from a Chinese diesel heater. So I've got a five kilowatt diesel heater and on full blast, this thing will spit out about 220 degree Fahrenheit air right at the end. And using that, if you don't really know how these work, they suck air from the inside of your van over a heat exchanger and that's the air that's coming out. So there's no exhaust. It's safe, there's no like diesel exhaust fumes going on. What in my case, 
is typically going to be things like frozen chicken that's pre fully cooked that you can then set right in front of the diesel exhaust and on full heat it spits out 220 degree air right over your frozen food so you can use this basically as a slower lower powered air fryer and you can use this for anything from even like canned corn canned beans you drain it lay it out on a plate uh, spread it out and just set it there it might take longer than say a traditional air fryer but you're going to use just the heat that you're already going to be using to heat your van uh, this can also be used i use it for things like garlic bread or usually if i'm going to be making some sort of chicken meal where i already have fully cooked chicken that's frozen i'll lay it out set it up and then start cooking things like rice on my butane stove in the meantime so by the time that the chicken's done being cooked you can chop it up and add it to your rice or whatever other meal you've got oh and one other thing be careful uh with what you're using as a plate underneath so paper plates are usually flashpoint where it'll catch fires about 450 one degrees and so you don't really have to worry about paper catching fire but if you have like a glass plate that's going to heat up and it could be a burn risk when you go to pick it up so using something like a paper plate that has a lower heat capacity, it won't absorb that heat and it'll be safe to pick up immediately. Don't do stupid things, I haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> but do give a shout out to all our volunteers and our management staff, they're awesome. Especially my medical people. I know it looks like a man hater. This is a cast steel pan. It's way lighter than cast iron. It works like cast iron. Eggs don't stick as bad, and there's no heat transfer on the handle. So if you're worried about carrying cast iron for weight, this is a better option. So what's best. the name one more time? It's cast, cast steel. Cast and I got it from the getting place, Amazon. So I just type in task key, cast steel, 10 inch pan. It's it cleans just like cast iron. You can wash it, but why? You know. <laughs> I want to thank you all uh, for participating in today's uh, cooking gadgets, show and tell, uh, really learned a lot. That was lots of good information. We are so fortunate to have such wisdom and expertise in the nomadic community. Support the RTRs by clicking on the blue donate button on this YouTube page. 100% of your donation supports HAWA. Finally, Get those sweepstakes tickets by January 26, 2022. You could win. No purchases necessary. Thanks much, and we'll see you down the road.